Guys, quite often uh, it is not that you can't do something. You can do it. It's not that you can't start your own business or you can't work for somebody else or you can't work on your body because your work requires too much of your mind or, or you just uh, can't work on your mind, reading books and updating your skills because your work requires quite a bit of uh, you to be focused physically and you're tired at the end of the day. Quite often, guys, it's not that. Quite often the reality is we live a certain kind of life but we secretly crave another kind of life. <laughs> and the reason that we're continuing with this particular kind of life is because it's comfortable. It's because it is consistent with our security paradigms. That if I can have this, I can feel safe in life. If I can have a fixed routine, I can feel safe in life. If I can make this much money every month, I can feel safe in life. If I have things in my control, I can feel safe in life. And this security paradigm is actually what you call in uh, Jyotish, Vedic astrology, in the, in the, uh, as part of the knowledge of the Atharva Ved. This point is Ketu. And... Ketu will give you everything you want. He is mythically depicted as an entity who is headless and part fish. And he is depicted as that entity who has some level of influence in all our minds, you know, in the minds of everybody who is born and functions on the material plane. He, uh, this entity influences that uh, individual's mind. It's kind of like the compass of your karma. It's like a, an inescapable force, you know, like <laughs> gravitation or like light, etc. That if you are functioning here as a being, a part of your mind is being governed by this entity, Ketu. And Ketu gives you everything you want. Everything. But not enough. Like it always falls just short of what will give you ultimate fulfillment. And the lesson here is that unless you have the courage with a sense of purpose and surrender to let go of that which is with you, but keeping you stuck, keeping you stereotyped in a particular role as a particular person and unhappy, unless you let go of that, unless you get just enough courage to escape its grasp by letting go, you will not experience the true fulfillment that your soul in this lifetime is seeking. That, that, that true fulfillment, the desire of which is keeping your soul stuck to the material plane and in the cycle of samsara. So Buddhist and Mahayana Buddhism, they are of the view that, uh, and this is something which is very consistent across most um, Eastern philosophies that life is essentially a kind of simulation you can say because it is behind the veil of Maya you never look at things exactly how they are there's some way different from what you think and so in this life you can have everything by manipulating the illusion of samsara by manipulating the or playing along with the uh, illusion of Maya but at one point of time, it begins to get repetitive and you crave liberation. That liberation is nirvana, moksha, salvation. And you cannot achieve that state of being which is undefinable as part of this universe. You know that uh, there is something that they say with respect to the Big Bang that um, what was there before the Big Bang? nothingness and how they describe it is in the terms of quantum physics that all of this nothingness over time listen to it this is, this is a very interesting concept i mean it's uh, I'm, I'm dumbing it out as much as possible that at some point all of this nothingness just accumulated and dropped through the dimensions with such force and with uh, such disbalance around it with such entropy being created that we had a massive bang. That is the big bang, which is, you know, as far as we can look and, you know, uh, how things started. So, 
Moksha can essentially be a state that is not known to us as long as we are part of this universe. But Moksha is that ultimate state of liberation. Being away from everything as you know it. Being outside the control of your body, of your uh, surroundings, of society, of planets, of dimensions, time. It is that state of ultimate fulfillment which can only be reached. When you learn to let go and move towards that which you truly feel you are meant for. This is Jay Koshal, writer, motivation speaker and life coach, signing off on another edition of It's Your Time to Fly.